Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Honda Accord and its eight speaker mid-level audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the radio system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments and controls, and speaker locations, and then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling on the highway, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, Click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to hear even more on the system, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. I recorded a members only sound test playing your requested music and evaluating the system. So if you want to see that and support the channel, sign up below. And before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. Yes, the mid level accord. So you've got a four speaker in the basic LX, which I'm sure sounds atrocious. And then you've got this mid-level eight speaker system. And then if you step all the way up to the pricey touring model, you get that pretty darn good Bose system. But this is kind of the Goldilocks. Now I won't give you my impressions right at the beginning of the audio system, but uh, just know that the car itself is much more reasonably priced than a lot of the hybrid Accords and it's pretty nice to drive. So if you do want to see more on it, check the link below. We've got the whole review and all the goodies. However, we are not doing an infotainment review on this car because this is hardly infotainment. It's simply a screen that gives you access to your phone, radio, and media. Now, we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed WAV files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high-quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the tests with the sound settings set to their factory default. So let's take a look at those now. Very simple 7-inch screen here. Hit menu, sound settings which you can either touch or you can actually use this scroller knob and click through the screen if you've got greasy fingers and don't want to get them on your screen. And you've got adjustments for bass, mid-range, and treble. Let's go through those. ton of adjustability there but it should be enough for a system like this and i found listening to it throughout the week that it sounds best with the bass up about two clicks mid-range down about two clicks and treble down one allows the meat and potatoes of your music to come through a little bit better and soften up the the, the highs a little bit but ultimately that's going to be down to your personal preferences so play around with it in your own car four audio controls oh wait actually below that you got front rear left right fader and balance and speed volume compensation. So as you get going faster, the music will get louder to compensate for wind, road, and engine drivetrain noise. That's all you got for audio adjustments. For audio controls here in the EX Accord, you got a nice volume knob here. It's got good clickage. Can't really hear them, but it feels nice in the hands. Not too far away either. You've also got volume controls on the right side, of, sorry, left side of the steering wheel. It's a little up and down rocker. For track selection, you can either use the touch screen to pick a track, you can scroll through with these physical controls right below the volume, or you can use the wheel right above the volume controls there, properly oriented. Audio inputs in the Accord, you have your standard AM and FM, but it doesn't, do we have HD radio support? Let's see. I'm not seeing any support for HD radio. So just FM, AM, no Sirius XM built in, so that's going to disappoint some people. But if you've got a phone, then you can obviously use Bluetooth support or wired Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And that's it for inputs. So what does that mean you're missing? No HD radio, no Sirius XM, no wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, no streaming services built in, and no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So all things to keep in mind there. I will show you what Apple CarPlay and Android Auto look like real quick before we kind of go onto the road, just since I'm not doing a full-blown infotainment test on this car. Speaker locations. As I said, this is an eight-speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got sort of a mid-ranger woofer there, one tweeter up front in the pillar there, two, three, four on the other side. And then your five, six, and seven, eight are here in the deck lid. You've got mid-ranger kind of woofer, mid-rangers like you get up front, and then tweeters hidden in there as well. If this were the 10, uh, 12 speaker, you'd have your subwoofer in there too. Interesting, no speakers in the doors. 
So you can see here on the CX, nothing. Just basic doors. So theoretically, you can take them off, except for the power locks, I guess. All right, let's take a quick look at Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and I am gonna have to stop the music because we've only got one data port. We've only got USB-Cs up there for uh, one data and then one uh, power. So I guess I should have mentioned earlier that you also don't have any USB-A ports. You're gonna need some sort of adapter for a lot of your cables. Plugging in Android Auto first. Already got it paired up, so it should be nice and easy. Now, at least when you have one of these more basic sort of touchscreen systems, the fact that you can simply plug in and get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto does make it pretty darn usable. So you can see right here is the whole Android Auto setup. You can bring up your Google Maps, still move around, pinch and zoom, etc. Not a super high resolution, but responsiveness and refresh seem to be pretty good. Here's your YouTube music. Let's take a step out and hit the super mix. What are we getting? Ooh, some Big Sean. Throwing back to Detroit. So that's your Android Auto. Let's take a quick look at Apple CarPlay. This is gonna be the first time plugging in the iPhone, so we'll see how quick and easy the setup is. Press yes. Uh, no more devices can be added. Yes. Ooh, a lot of other iPhones in here. Let's remove Alexander's iPhone. I wonder if that's Stocklosa. Stocklosa, if you're watching, sorry, bud. That's gone. Allow on the phone, and there we have it, Apple CarPlay coming up. So there's your Google Maps, it's starting us in. Oh, you can actually move around with this CarPlay, or um, with this one. Usually Google Maps on Apple CarPlay, you can't scroll like that, so that's interesting. Here's your home screen, and let's bring up YouTube Music. Again, seeming pretty responsive, even if the resolution's not super high. Oh, I actually, I don't know if I've got, um, it looks like, Oh, right now is when the iPhone chose to update YouTube Music. So that's interesting. Uh, do we have Amazon Music on here we can show? Here's some Amazon Music for you. Let's get playing something. There's your now playing screen on Amazon Music. All right, I'm going to get this stuff put away, and we're going to head out on the road.
The speakers throughout my week of testing this car have actually been decently, uh, a decent quality sound coming out of them. I haven't been too disappointed. I am a little bit surprised that they chose to do four speakers in the back and four in the front. I would have liked to see maybe five or six in the front and only two or three in the back. I mean, realistically, if you're buying a sedan, you're probably spending most of the people time being in the front here. But I have found that by changing the tuning a little bit, now we always test with flat EQ, but to give some saving grace while we're doing the members only sound test, bumped the bass up one or two, dropped the mid range down one or two. And then what that does is it just takes a little bit of the, the harshness off the top end of the system and allows you to enjoy a little more of the power. Because the mid bass has actually been decently satisfying for me. For this next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up and uh, I'm expecting some distortion. Whoops, but it's not a super powerful system. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Hear that weird crackling going on? I've never heard that in all of the tests I've ever done. speaker sound system here in the Accord EX. Good news first, it's markedly better than the previous generation Accord. The I honestly kind of preferred the 8 speaker in the previous gen Accord over the 10 speaker anyway. I thought the 10 speaker did really weird tuning with the center speaker up front. It's, it's an improvement over that and mostly it's just the general crispness and and actually strangely enough enough power for most of your easy listening we test this music pretty loud and it's pretty standard and uniform and it doesn't sound fantastic but listening to the members only tracks the other night and doing kind of listening throughout my week it's not bad it's just not good however this is one of the few systems i've ever noticed any sort of artifacts and distortion while listening to normal music at moderate levels and that's what's gonna keep it out of the C range. So it's getting a D plus. The, most of your sound quality is actually gonna be closer to C, but like I said, there's been times, both in this test right now, but then also listening to my own music where I'm, I'm hearing 
the fading and, and just not good sound elements uh, coming out. So unfortunately, if you really care about audio in the Accord, you gotta step up to the Touring with the Bose. It's unfortunate because this is overall a really nice car and it's also helped out on the highway by it being a pretty quiet car in here. But D plus for the eight speaker, I can't even begin to imagine what the four speaker sounds like. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Accord, check the link below. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on.